Hello, this is Jenny from Healing the Wounded Heart. When we think of the word gravity, we may immediately think of astronauts who float around in their spacecrafts because there is no gravity holding them down. Or we may also be thinking that each time we drop something towards the ground, it will indeed fall to the ground because of gravity pulling it downwards. However, today I want us to think about gravity in terms of importance, significance, severity, enormity or magnitude. Probably not many of us think about the importance that we can have on others. We often are not aware of the influence that we have on people around us and those that we come into contact with, perhaps for the very first time, which of course is why we want to try and live our lives in the best way that we can, displaying the love of God. Jesus' life on earth had an enormous significance. He bridged the division that there was between God and people by giving his very life for us on the cross. He was and is the most significant person who has lived or will ever live. It can be easy for us as believers to forget what he accomplished and endured for us. The writer to the Hebrews said this in Hebrews chapter 12, verse 3, and I'm going to read this section from the New Living Translation. And this is what it says. Think of all the hostility he endured from sinful people. Then you won't become weary and give up. So here the writer is seeking to encourage the discouraged disciples by asking them to remember. Sadly, how easy we can forget too. Hang on a minute. Let's not forget then verse 2 of Hebrews chapter 12. And for this section, I'm going to read from the New King James Version. And this is what it says. Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who, for the joy that was set before him, endured the cross, despising the shame, and has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. So, if he endured the enormity and severity of the cross for us, then looking to him will help us to endure also whatever we may have to face because of the absolute joy that we will have of entering into his presence on that final day. God bless you. Amen.